Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you my curly to straight routine. I'm starting off on freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. You can check my previous videos on how I deep conditioned my hair for this routine and also you can check out my previous video on how I blow dry my hair. When I usually straighten my hair I usually use a thin toothed comb but I found something on Amazon that might be a game changer for me because I can never seem to get like a silky silk press because my hair will just poof up all the time. So even when I go to the hairdresser, so I don't know. It's called a Thermo Ceramic Straightening Brush. So it's like using a smoothing brush but in a straightness form. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. Instead of putting the comb first, you put this first, then you straighten on top and go on like that. So yeah, I'm gonna try it out today, see if it works out for me. And also I bought some new straighteners because my old ones were GHDs but they only went up to a certain degree, which is probably why I wasn't getting my hair as straight as possible. So I decided to buy some new ones and this is the one that I bought. Here in the UK, I feel like it's quite hard to get good straighteners. I would spend money on good straighteners if I could find good straighteners, maybe I need to go to the hairdressers or maybe the salons and see where they get their supplies from. But I don't know, I'm just going to use these and see how they work for me. So, this is what they look like. So, there's the locking mechanism here. So, I have to pull that to unlock it. I decided to buy the figure plate because my hair is quite thick and I really want to cut the time down as much as possible. It's a wide digital ceramic straightener. High heat, 150 to 230 degrees. Fast 15 second heat up. Floating plate for superior alignment, automatic safety shut off, super cold and heat resistant pouch. I'm going to put them on 210 to start with and I'll see how I go from there. Let me just section up my hair. I like to work in three sections on each side so I'm going to part them up. I don't know, I feel like it goes a little bit quicker this way. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some heat protectant on my hair. This is the Thermal Shield from Cantu. I'm just going to spray that in this section here. I don't want to spray too much because I don't want my hair to Revert. I use it in my blow drying routine as well. So whenever I'm applying heat, whether it's blow drying or straightening, I go in with a heat protectant before I put any heat in my hair. I did like the way the heat protectant felt on my hair. It just made my hair feel softer and more nourished rather than when I used to use my Tresemme one. That didn't really feel nourishing in my hair. So it was nice to have a heat protectant that did provide some sort of moisturised feeling in my hair. Ooh, here we go, these big old things. Also, the other products that I did use in my blow drying routine was the Keracare Silk and Seal Serum and the Aphigy Leave-In Spray, the Reconstructurizer. I'll leave the products that I used below. But if you like, you can also check out my previous video because the blow drying is an important part of the straightening process. So yeah, in this particular part of the routine, I don't use anything but the thermal shield. Just because I don't want my hair to be weighed down, I just want it to be light and airy and fluffy, you know, trying to get that silk press look. Alright, so it's soft, smooth, but I feel like I can up the temperature a bit more, just to get a silkier outcome. I'll turn them on, because they turned off, maybe that will help. So let me put it back on 210. <laughs> That's so jokes. Okay. I'm going to start straightening my hair from the back towards the front of my hair. You don't have to do your hair in sections like I did. You can go row to row. Uh -huh. Okay. No, I don't need to go higher than 210. <laughs> when it's on, it's hot. <laughs> yeah, so... Make sure the straighteners are on before you even start to straighten your hair. That would be a good step in your routine. 
So before I start straightening, I make sure to comb out the section before I go in with the straightener because I don't want to snag my hair and I want it to be a smooth motion when I'm putting the straightener through my hair. And then I do fast and short passes at the roots to smooth out the roots without burning my scalp. You don't want to put the straightener close to your roots for very long because the steam is just going to burn your scalp. So just do a few passes. Don't worry about the amount of passes I'm doing. It's not going to damage my hair. It's just short passes. So yeah, after I do the short passes, I go in with the chasing method. The straightening brush first and then I put the straighteners behind it. Hmm. Interesting. So I started off by doing one pass using the chasing method and then I went ahead and done a slower pass afterwards. But I didn't like the way the straightening brush was tugging on my hair. So I went ahead and done the rest of the routine doing a fast pass with just the straighteners alone just to smooth out the hair a bit. Then I followed on with the straightening brush and the straightener together doing a slower pass. I'll show you in real time how slow the pass is on my hair. Um, I do try not to go too slow because I don't want to do too much damage on my hair. Right, and that's all the section done. But it's looking good so far, look. It's bone straight, it's light. I'm impressed so far. I'm just going to clip this out of the way. And I'll be careful not to spray any of this onto the section I just straightened. So I'm spraying it forwards. Now for this section, because it's quite thick, I do like to part it in two long ways, like that. Just because it, get, it gets a bit too much. I would usually do two slow passes on my hair. Yeah, I've never been a one pass girl with <laughs> straightening. And it's never really worked out with me doing one pass. And that's probably because I don't put my straighteners on the highest heat. I always like to work in the middle because there's no way I'm going to try and straighten my hair on that high heat because yes, I would probably get the silk press look that I'm looking for, but yes, I'm more likely to damage my hair too. So I'd rather have my hair healthy and less straight rather than it being bone straight and then resulting with heat damage. I really do like the results of using the straightening brush instead of the fine tooth comb. It just left my hair feeling more silky and smooth because there's way more bristles in the brush compared to the comb which means that there'll be more tension provided which will result in a smoother, silkier result. So if you've been having trouble with getting a silky result, maybe try a bristle brush if you don't have this straightening brush. Maybe that will literally be the only thing you might need to change in your routine to achieve a better result. You will see some steam coming from the straighteners but that's okay. That's more likely to be the heat protecting that I put in my hair or just the evaporation of any products that you might have in your hair. So it's now 1.30 in the morning, okay. So it's definitely not a frying hair situation because I didn't have any added oils in my hair other than what would be in my products. So yeah, it's definitely not my hair burning and my hair reverted fine, so it wasn't frying my hair. And also with the front of my hair, because it is a different texture, I don't need to go so slowly with the passes. <gasps> I don't think I've got any heat protectant on this part. <laughs> That's not good. Okie dokie, let's hope I don't have any heat damage, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, what an idiot. Using the heat protectant is really crucial. All good so far. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> Oi. On to the next side. I was pretty happy with the results from the straightener. I've had a fair amount of straighteners in my lifetime. I would say it's up there with some of the best ones I've had. But I've always had drugstore branded straighteners. I did eventually buy GHDs, but I just didn't feel like they were exceptionally good. 
compared to what I'm used to. But I do hope in the future to be able to purchase a proper professional grade straightener. But for now, these will do and they will do a good job. So if you're looking for some new straighteners, I do recommend these ones. And I also do recommend the thicker plates for thicker hair because it covers more surface area and it speeds up the straightening time. something always so satisfying about seeing the last bit of hair being straightened and it's all done it took me roughly about 45 minutes to finish my whole hair which is actually not that bad considering the length of my hair and the thickness I doubt I'll be able to speed that process up it's just a long process guys what I'm doing here is I'm just going around the perimeter of my head just to straighten out those edges a bit more because for some reason they always get missed when I'm straightening my hair probably because I'm not getting as close as I need to be to the roots but listen I can't stand when that steam touches my scalp so yeah I'll just go ahead and straighten those out a bit and obviously again not long passes on the hair just short passes just to get the roots done and then what I'm doing now is I'm just bumping my ends a bit so that's not just dead straight, I just like to have that little curl at the ends. But yeah, that's all done. I'm loving the way that it's turned out. As you can see in the middle part there, I didn't get to my roots, so I've got a little indentation at the back. But as you can see, that goes away as I've brushed it. But yeah, I'm really loving the results from this new straightening routine. It lasted for a whole month. Um, it didn't stay bone straight for a whole month, but I kept the straight hair for four weeks. <laughs> so now I'm taking the ORS Olive Oil Sheen Spray and I'm just going to spray that in my hair a little bit. Not too much, just to give my hair a little bit of moisture. I'm just spraying a little bit in my hands and raking it through my hair. Not spraying it directly on my hair because uh, I don't want to add too much. Happy ends, happy ends. Happy endings. <laughs> and I also spray some of that sheen spray on my scalp. Um, just spread the part are showing. Obviously a little oil won't hurt nobody. And this sheen spray is a lightweight formula. As it says there, it don't feel like anything. It's just giving me the shine. It might have weighed it down just a little bit, but my ends needed some sort of revival. I'm not gonna dare cut off anymore. I'm already scissor happy. I'm surprised I didn't cut bangs. That's how scissor happy I am. Okay, so it's three o'clock in the morning now and I need to go to my bed, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like the next day once I wrap it. I'll have a more detailed routine on how I wrap my hair up on my channel soon. But yeah, I'm just wrapping it up and then I'm taking some more of that sheen spray and I'm just spraying it over my hair just so that when I'm putting the hair scarf on, it doesn't get too dry even though the satin and silk helps with that but i just find that my hair just comes out more glossier more silky when i do this step so i just wrapped up my hair and i go to bed <laughs> all the products and tools i use will be in the description box below if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up it really does help me out with the algorithm don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And any shares, likes and comments will be greatly appreciated. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!